Hey guys, what's happening? Thanks for tuning in, coming back and watching. I appreciate it. Hope you're doing well. Staying safe, taking care of yourselves, all those kind of things. And if you're new here, I'm Jim. Nice to meet you and thanks for stopping by. I make tutorial videos here every week showing you how I edit my photos using various software products. Today I'm in DxO's Photo Lab 4 again. It came out recently. I did a couple of videos about it. It's a new product to me. I'm still learning, so I don't want to pretend to know everything about it or even a lot of things about it, to be frank because I am experimenting. I gave a first impression video, and then I showed a demo of some of the tools in it. And one of the tools that's consistently getting talked about is their noise reduction. So I never used previous versions of Photolab, so I don't really have a big basis for comparison, but um, I have been running some images through using their new Deep Prime noise reduction, which is in Photolab 4, and I have to admit, it's quite possibly the best noise reduction I've ever seen. It is kind of mind-blowing, and so, I've been kind of playing around and one of the things I realized was, hey, I don't really have a lot of images that have a high amount of noise in them. If I'm on a tripod, I'm shooting at ISO 100 or something pretty low. If I'm shooting handheld at night in a city, which I do a fair amount, my ISO is still like 1,000 or you know, 1,250, maybe 2,500, so not significant. So here's what I did. I took this photo and this is just an old uh, Kodak, you can see what it is, a Medallion 8 movie camera, something I picked up somewhere because, let's admit, uh, let's be honest here, that's super cool looking. It usually sits on a, uh, a shelf. In fact, you can see it back there on, on the little uh, stand behind me. Anyway, um, I bought it because it's cool looking. It doesn't work. I don't even care. So I just said, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take a photo of this. I'm just going to take the photo with incredibly high ISO. So I took it at 25,600 ISO, which honestly I would never do. And frankly, um, in days past, um, like that wouldn't even be usable. Uh, and in fact, at 2,500, sorry, 25,600, this actually isn't that bad. Now, I was in my office, I put it on my little desk over here, um, and it was in the middle of the day, so there's light coming in because there's windows right there that are kind of shining on it. So it, it's noisy, as you can see, and if I zoom in, you can see that it's very noisy. Um, but that's, that's something that in the past I would be like, oh God, this is terrible, this is not gonna work. But I found with Deep Prime, you can really make some, a huge impact on it. So let me show you how powerful this noise reduction is in Photolab 4. Okay, so to get to noise reduction, you go to this third little tab over here and you click on that and you can see it has denoising technologies. There's HQ, which is high quality, Prime, both of those, HQ and Prime, were in the previous version and Deep Prime is our new one. So I'm just gonna show you HQ. And honestly, it does a pretty good job. If I hit the compare button, you can see there it is before and there it is after. And then you can drag luminance here and, and create a a not bad looking image. I mean, it gets a little bit softer because that's kind of what noise reduction is doing. Uh, so I'm going to put that back to the default of 40. But, you know, again, HQ, it's not bad. And in many ways, it makes it kind of usable, but it's not amazing and it's not mind blowing. But I think the Deep Prime kind of is amazing and mind blowing. So um, the thing with this I learned and a couple of people left this comment for me was when I click on Deep Prime here, it's not showing it in this big preview image and that's because it's so processor intensive that it would just hog a lot of resources. So what you gotta do is apply your Deep Prime, export the photo, and then come in and compare it. So that's what we're gonna do. So the preview, the big thing that you're looking at here is still just kind of showing the HQ. But I wanted to show you a couple things. Number one, if you click on that, you've got this that you can move around. So I might put it here and then again, look in the preview window and you can see, and I'm gonna go ahead and just drag luminance all the way to 100. Um, and you still, I mean, Deep Prime and Luminance at 100, you still have a reasonably clear image that you can see there. And if I click on this where it says cloudy, bright, and open shade, if you look over there, that's really legible and looks great. So I'm going to, uh, by the way, you can click that again to turn off that uh, scene selector or that section of the photo selector. And again, you're only seeing the Deep Prime result here. So I'm going to go ahead and export the photo, pull it back in, and do a comparison so you can just see how amazing this noise reduction really is. Okay, and so just for informational purposes, I have 64 gigs of RAM running on my MacBook Pro, and that took about 20 seconds or something to export. This is a RAW file shot with a Sony A7R 3 so it's a big fat RAW file, like 85 meg or something. So um, just wanted to give you an idea. Lots of RAM, but a really big file. Took about 20 seconds, so it's processor intensive, of course, the amount of time it takes to export is going to depend on your system itself. Okay, so I exported the file, dropped it back into the folder, and here it is, the original image unedited. As you can see, this is the, the 5843 raw file. 
Now, if you want to do a comparison, you can flip back and forth between the files, but there's a quick, easy way to do that, and that is you click on View up here and say Set Reference Image, and you come over here, and you can see it's the same file name, but it has DXO in the end of it. I did save it as a JPEG, um, but that's a raw file that you're looking at, but I can compare it to the JPEG, which is the exported completed image with the full deep prime noise reduction added. So now when I hit compare, you're going to be able to look at that and just, I mean, wow, that is really crisp. Like if you look in there where all the text is, it is crisp and clean and no noise. So again, there it is. Noisy, 25,600 ISO um, and that sort of thing. And still clean and crisp and really visible and absolutely no noise any, anywhere. I mean, it does an incredible job of helping you maintain and probably even recover detail, and yet the noise is completely gone. This, as I said, it's kind of mind-blowing. This might be the best I've ever seen. I'm gonna come back and do some more experiments and do some comparisons with other products, but if you're just looking for a great all-around product, this one is something that really does a great job. I'm looking at DxO Photolab as an alternative to Lightroom for me. Um, it's not going to replace other apps that I use and talk about a lot, but it may replace Lightroom for me. And this noise reduction that's built in is um, really you know, helping me lean in this direction. So one more time, there it is before and after. And what I find is that these kind of all-in-one uh, photo uh, editors, like kind of like Lightroom that has a library and has all these different capabilities. They're, they're generalists, for lack of a better word. They're usually good at a lot of things, but not necessarily amazing at any of them. But I'm finding DxO Photolab 4 to be, you know, good at a lot of things. And in this case, as you can see, it's literally amazing and mind-blowing at noise reduction, which historically, I feel like you've always had to go to a point product. Um, Topaz Denoise is one that I use. And I'm going to come back and do a comparison because I love that product. I use it all the time. And um, now I'm looking at this and thinking, golly, um, especially if I use this instead of Lightroom, I can start here, do edits and all the fun stuff I do like in Luminar, and then maybe come back over here and do noise reduction if I need to. So anyway, I'm going to take uh, do more experiments, take a closer look. But I wanted to share that because that is so smooth. I mean, you would think I shot that at ISO 100 on a tripod instead of at ISO 25,600 handheld. But there it is one more time. Super smooth, amazing. I'm just fired up about this uh, and noisy. So that's it for this kind of look at DxO Photolab 4's deep prime noise reduction technology. It's amazing. I'm pretty fired up. Hope it, uh, hope it helps, gives you an idea of what this product can do. If you have any questions, let me know down below. And I'll see you soon with more videos. I'll be back to share some additional findings about this product and some others that I'm experimenting with. I'll see you soon, my friends. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Take care of yourselves out there, and adios.